Hey everyone, this is Jess and welcome back to my channel. So I was given this desk to redo for a client and he said he wanted a green paint and wood combo. So I did some research and found out this desk is from the 1920s and was made by Baby Furniture. Underneath all this white paint you see is solid mahogany wood. I'm not a big fan of the knobs, so we're going to change those out for these cute little gold knobs I have here. This desk actually opens up and then there's a piece inside that you pull out and I guess that's supposed to be for writing on. I'm going to start this restoration off with pouring stripper all over the top of the desk. And I'm just going to use this old brush to spread it around everywhere. I like to let the stripper sit on for about 5 to 10 minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to take all the knobs off. It turns out the paint on top was very thick, so I had to put even more stripper on and let it sit for even longer. After putting the second coat of stripper on, it was easier to get off, but I had only gotten through the paint. Here's what I got off with the second coat of stripper. So there was a couple coats of a melamine paint, and then there was a varnish, and then there was a stain, and then finally the beautiful mahogany wood underneath. I decided to go ahead and start sanding the piece down, since the stripping was taking so long and wasn't really getting me anywhere. I'm using an 80 grit sanding disc, and once I'm done all of that, I'm going to put a 120 sanding disc on just to smooth it all out. Here's the result of hours of sanding, and I'm going to have to take this hinge off so I can sand easier in between. Once I'm done sanding, I'm going to take a wet rag and clean everything off. Since it's mahogany wood, when I put the wet rag on it, you're going to see a lot of red undertones come out. And that's basically what it would look like if I just put a clear coat on top of it. I didn't want it to come out super red, so I decided to use a stain, the Weathered Oak by Minwax. And it's kind of a grayish brown stain, so I was hoping it would counteract the red a little bit. I'm using a clean rake to apply the stain, and once it's all covered, I'm going to rub away all the excess. Next, I have to scuff sand everything down. I'm going to do that using an 80 grit sanding disc on top of a sanding block. Then I'm going to take a damp rag and make sure it's all clean and ready for painting. I'm painting with Bayberry Infusion Mineral Paint. And here it is with one coat of paint. Once I've let the paint dry for a couple hours, I'm going to start applying a second coat of paint. And I'm just going to try to go in all the same direction to prevent any brush strokes. 
The one part of it was really hard to paint with just my regular paintbrush, so I had to use this little brush and get into all those tight spaces. After everything has dried for a good amount of time, I'm going to apply the Beeswax Finish by Fusion Mineral Paint, and I'm just going to apply that with a clean cloth, and after 30 minutes, I'm going to rub off all the excess. I put the beeswax on both the wood and the painted surfaces. We're getting close to the end, so I'm going to be screwing things back on, putting the knobs on, and then I will show you the before, and then we'll see the after, the result. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.